And I know that Washington has failed the people of North Carolina, and I know it's time for that to change. She has been in North Carolina politics for decades, holding a wide range of public offices. Well, now Democrat Sherry Beasley is going to represent the Tar Heel State in Washington. Beasley has the full support of her party, running unopposed, ready to take on whoever the GOP opponent is. But who is Sherry Beasley, and what is her stance on the issues affecting North Carolinians? Well, Queen City News chief political correspondent Emma Withrow goes one-on-one -on -one with the judge on why she says she deserves your vote. There are 24 women in the United States Senate. Not a single one is African American. Former North Carolina Chief Justice Sherry Beasley wants to change that. In 2019, Justice Beasley made history when she became North Carolina's first African American woman to lead the Supreme Court. But her time in public service dates back much further. I have been in service to the people of North Carolina for nearly 30 years as a public defender and judge and Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of North Carolina. And, you know, I've been in court uh, almost every day, working hard to uphold the law and respect the Constitution. After upholding the laws for so many years, Beasley decided she wanted to start making them. Hi everybody, I'm Sherry Beasley and I'm running for the U.S. Senate here in North Carolina. But the political arena isn't quite as diplomatic as most courtrooms. Loyal, liberal loser. Despite the mudslinging, Beasley has a strategy to stay on track during the general election and if elected, into her term as senator. It is really important to make sure to be able to stay at the negotiating table. Uh, people here in North Carolina uh, want to know that we're sending the next senator to Washington to get the job done. And you can't get the job done if you're bickering about, about things that don't matter for people here in the state. So how does Beasley plan to tackle the issues that do matter for people here in her state? Think inflation, rising gas prices, health care, and more. First of all, I would hold corporations accountable. We certainly need a price gouging penalty uh, because it is uh, completely unfair when, when corporations are gouging uh, anytime, really, but especially now. And I think we also really must focus on a made in America economy uh, to make sure that when there are these kinds of things happening overseas that we are less reliant. Beasley became the presumed Democratic nominee when State Senator Jeff Jackson dropped out of the race and endorsed her. Sherry Beasley will be a great U.S. Senator for North Carolina. So today, I'm going to be her first endorsement as our party's presumptive nominee. But she still has an uphill battle when it comes to taking on whichever Republican snags the nomination. The country's top political forecasters have released their predictions for the general election, and the majority say it'll lean Republican, but Beasley remains optimistic. And we're really feeling very good about where we are, feeling energy in this camp campaign. Right now, Beasley's staying out of the Republicans' political bloodbath and keeping her eye on the prize. Her last sprint to become North Carolina's next senator starts on May 17th. Until then, she's meeting voters and hitting record numbers in campaign donations. Emma Withrow, Queen City News.